Hi everybody, nice to see you again. You'll be cooking with Jeff. And today we're doing something straight from the Pacific Northwest. Dungeness crab boiled in a porter beer. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So let's get started. You want to prepare the crab for his demise. Putting them in the freezer on their backs for 10 to 15 minutes and then dropping them into boiling water is actually the best way to humanely put the crab to its death. So go ahead and put the crabs in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, now that you have them on ice, let's go ahead and start thinking about our broth. We're gonna need a few things. The most important thing to grab is your porter beer. Yes, mmm, loving the porter beer. Just about any porter will work. Just grab your favorite one at the grocery store. I'm also using sea salt. I'm using some fresh garlic. I have my measuring cup. I have a knife. I have a bottle opener and I have a great big pot to put those beautiful crab into. Now I've already added approximately two gallons of water to this pot here and I'm going to continue to add another six beers. Yes, that's six porter beers. I know that's a lot of beer that you could be drinking instead of putting into a pot. But let me tell you, the end result is going to be well worth it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put these six beers in there and just dump them in like so. So now that you have all of that beer into your pot, let's start focusing on our fresh garlic. Just go ahead and chop up the fresh garlic into smaller pieces, just like this. And once you have that all chopped up nicely, go ahead and put it into the pot. Fresh garlic. Now the thing I want to mention about this broth before we continue on is that it is extremely simple. There are very few components to this broth. You have your beer, you have your water, you have your salt, and you have your garlic. The rest of this is going to just be natural crab flavors. So now we're going to go ahead and add our sea salt. I'm not a real big fan of salt. I believe that seafood has a lot of its own natural salt to it. So I just like to add a little bit, about a fourth of a cup. So there you go, about a fourth of a cup, and into the pot it goes. So that's all there is to it. Our broth is complete. Others may want to add Old Bay seasoning or pepper or other things like that. That's fine to do. I like it pretty simple. I like enjoying the crab in its natural state along with the beer. So let's get this water boiling, and once you have a rapid boil, plan on dropping the crabs in. So I've gone ahead and pulled these guys out of the freezer. Remember, they've been in the freezer on their backs for 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you do this before you drop them in. It's the humane thing to do. And here they go. Crab one and crab two. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut back my heat just a bit so that this maintains a rolling boil for 15 minutes. These crabs are approximately a pound and a half a piece. They should be cooked for 15 minutes. If your crab are a little bit bigger and they're two pounds a piece, go ahead and set that timer for about 20 minutes. So we're just going to go ahead and set ours for 15 and cover these guys up. And here we go. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and we're going to go ahead and take this Dungeness crab right out of the pot. Oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, they've got that beautiful red tinge to them. Wow. There is nothing like Pacific Northwest Dungeness crab. Oh, and there's the second one. Oh, they look fantastic. So get them pulled out. So we're back, and I'm super excited. The crab are looking outstanding. So here, here's a little secret I want to tell you about. A lot of people will take the crab and put them under cold water. That's a great idea because the cold water helps separate the meat from the inside of the shell. It's a lot easier to get out when you're cracking. But you can do one better. Get yourself a great big bucket of ice full of water and go ahead and submerge the crab in ice water. Just get them in there, get them completely submerged in the water, like, like so.
Okay, now that they're submerged, let's leave them in that ice for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, these crab are fully cooked, looking beautiful. We've iced them down and now it's time to clean them. And I'll just quickly show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. What you gotta do is you gotta flip it over. You'll see a little tail extending here. Put your thumb at the top of that tail and just peel it back like so. It'll pop out just like that. Once you have it out, put your thumb into the back of that tail and push up into the crown of the crab. Holding it from the bottom, just simply snap off that top like so. And you're gonna run into all the gills and guts, which nobody wants, but you can just simply scrape those out. Scrape out those gills. Clean it in a little bit of water. And then go ahead and just snap the crab in two, like so. And continue to remove all the gunky stuff. Rinse it, and there you go. There's a clean crab. And there's the other half. Beautiful. Now the thing to do is eat it. I've got my crab cracker and I've got my little fork to get inside the shell. And I might mention, a lot of people like to make butter with their crab, but let me tell you, this crab doesn't need it. Boiling it in the beer like we did makes that meat sweat. It sweats a beautiful, sweet flavor where you don't need the butter. So let's taste it. Go ahead and pull a claw off there. We're gonna crack into this baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's cooked perfectly. It looks beautiful. It looks like it's been put into butter. We'll take a little piece of this and let's see. Oh! That is Pacific Northwest Dungeness Crab at its best. Enjoy.